Welcome back. Today we have a small video. I'm not gonna make it too long. It's not gonna be too long to watch. And we have a few ingredients to do. A tarot card, sunflower, butterfly, school, mushrooms, some evil roots like wrapping all around and making that into one probably hand size, bit bigger tattoo design. I've done a lot of tattoos on her, so she fully trusts me and she just lets me do whatever I want. So we're gonna do whatever we want today. I will draw my iPad. The reason being is when it comes to printing out, it's that easy to measure how big I need to print out on the spot. Because when I draw on the paper, it's cool and all, but if you need like 20% bigger and it's on A4 paper, what do you do? So you're grabbing iPad plus I made Ziggy size which is 4000 by 4300 uh, dpi dots per inch so it's quite massive size we're gonna click pen I'm gonna go for sketching and I do like the peppermint one all sorts of options stabilization I'll probably gonna grab to like here yeah, just why not first of all gonna sketch the size of the card then we need a section for the ground. So let's say that will be the ground. Flower, probably I would aim for the middle because why not? That's the middle. Let's make it a weird stem, not anything straight. Make nice flower middle. We need another circle for the flower ends because it's perspective. That end should be smaller than this one because that is closer and as the perspective goes, it shrinks down, so that end is thinner, make it bigger. Then we're probably going to need a butterfly somewhere, so that little guy can sit there. I'm going to make where the butterfly overlaps the card, just because I think it's cool, better than fitting inside. That section there, we need to find the space somewhere for the school probably about there then we need to make the roots about there then we need uh, what's it called that section where it says death so it's gonna be around there and then roots and now we need to be a clean up for a second by clean up I mean a bit more readable than it is just like a fraction of little details just so your eyes and kind of easy to see what, what's going on. When I do flower middles, that is the middle. I kind of do, imagine this is like a clock. So I tend to do uh, a gap one. So let's say a 12-ish one, then that would be like half there, about three o'clock, 10-ish, and then once you get like these out, it's easier to see where the other ones need to fit in. And yeah, always helped me that way. I thought I'm gonna say, just say no. See? And it kind of naturally like sits all right. Following my time. Except we don't have time there. We could, but I don't think she wants. Because on instant that would turn into like a pocket watch and, and then the needs add some time and that would mean something to her and but today we're just doing that. We we, need, we still need to find a way to get the school in. I need to find a creative way how to get that wrapping somewhere. Maybe I'm gonna delete that and then get where it goes in the nose and comes out of the eye. We'll see. It doesn't matter now. We need to clean up a little bit. Plus I need more detail for the card, so it actually looks like a card. That is a really, really bad school, isn't it? So two fingers, hold, you'll undo everything. Basically the same way you would do an eraser when you erase stuff on paper. 
So I'm gonna get the school off. I'm gonna go on Google, grab a new one. And I'm gonna put a school, school in, not the one I sketched now. Horrible, bad, bad, bad. Bumps, magic, appeared, it's there. We're gonna delete some stuff. With deleting, I use airbrush. And then I'm just gonna wipe off. Basically, it's gonna be like underneath the ground, in a sense. That'll be fine. That'll be cool. Layer. Tap on the M and desaturate. Now we're gonna draw on top of him. So I barely can see the lines, but I can see them. Now we're back on this layer, and now we're gonna draw, sketch up the lines. This is the moment we need to draw some mushrooms. So we're gonna, it's the ground. I'll probably need to mark more. But uh, that's the ground. If you haven't figured it out yet. That's the ground, that'll be there. And yeah, mushrooms come out from the ground, but not in a boring way. So we need to like twist them, curve them, probably like, I, I made this as a hole in the head, so. That's there, cool. And then we need to make some weird ones coming out. So basically it's not plain, it's not boring, it's not just straight down like kids would draw. Any like, any whatever like we fancy. Probably some coming off the cards, just why not? And then some long ones, some thin ones, some little ones, tiny ones, one probably in front of the school to just so like gives the perspective like that this is closer that's more further away then a few here a few there basically wherever at any like anything gonna make like lsd ones just so don't know maybe she's on drugs nah she's not on drugs she's a good girl but yeah just looks more deaf kind of like related if you draw like family friendly ones, like, it's just not cool, in it? Something like some dead, some wobbly. Oh, that's not cool, they're overlapping like perfectly. I need to maybe curve a little bit more so that doesn't touch the. That was dangerous game. Yeah, that'll do. That's there, that's there. That joins to that one, that joins to that one. Probably I can do a little skirts. Probably they have a name. Maybe that's the name. Don't know. There's a matter. See, it looks more creepier now. Then, Fury here. So what what we have done on her is, it it kind of accidentally became like the deaf side, and now she's going for the deaf side and then the good side, and. Yeah, the people who follow me on Insta that they probably have seen. I did like a raven and peonies on that side and then i did a school on that side what else did i do on that side scorpion on hers thighs also mixed with peonies and this is going to be on a bottom leg uh adding to if you ever wonder like where i've been and why i haven't made so many videos is well the people that like, follow me on insta they probably have seen i've done so many big massive designs and the problem is to film them it's insanely hard because i draw like any spare minute i have available in my life and and if that means like seven o'clock in the morning one day I, I woke up and i considered four i don't know how but i woke up at four o'clock and my eyes opened and i was like oh i need to go and draw but then i thought no 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 I, I i need to chill i need to let my body heal as well a little bit because I can feel like I overwork quite a lot on my body is just not capable of taking like so much. I was counting about 70 hours of work a week and my body just needs that one day or that time to just recover a little bit. So now we're here, what I would do is I would drop them. Actually, they are on one layer. So we, we don't need that one. We make a new one. We desaturate this one. 
and this is the moment I would probably go uh, go and draw like the clean lines, the the lines what's gonna stay like forever because I pretty much made whatever we need underneath, and then now I'm creating new lines. So it would be pen. I would go for inking, and I like technical pen. It gives nice clean line. Stabilization probably not too much because this design requires me to make like some quick wobbles and if you put too much stabilization it tries to clean after you and then you can't make squiggles like that where you want it and it will, it will not gonna let you do it. So that's that and then you're probably gonna see me drawing fast now. What I will do is, one, I will get these lines for this size. Yeah, something like that. And then I will make it smaller. So that line. So this line and this line. So it would be the same as I would do in a paper. I would get 0 0.7, maybe 0 0.5, and I would say 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 something small but same technique same as you would draw on a paper I just did an iPad with magical pen and that's about it so now we're gonna fly through remember as, as I always say make sure you draw clean lines make sure you always do readability so when you look at it and that's the end goal for us as well when we look at it he has to be clean he has to be readable when you look at it you, you know exactly like that's it's meant to be sunflower, I don't know if that looks like a sunflower, I think maybe I need to make the middle a bit smaller. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it looks and then. But anyways, it's always readability, always clean, always precise. Make sure lines always touch. You don't leave weird gaps between them because they are unnecessary and they look unprofessional, especially when you tattoo always lines perfectly touch not overlap not before just bang on so when you finish your tattoo it has to look like it's been printed out from a paper printed on the skin and probably what else i need to do is i need to get more details on the side just so it looks like more like a damaged paper or as it's gonna say death here blah 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 so the paper needs to be dead as well, doesn't it? So it, it needs to be killed or burned or wrapped or holes ripped out or something. It can't be clean. And uh, what else we need to do is we need to make the roots thicker. So literally like thick as that and then I'm probably gonna double line them from outside and from that side. Meaning one line there, one line there or I can demonstrate to you. One here, one there, and we're not gonna run the stencil, I can just follow the lines. And that's that. So I'll see you with a time loss. What I was gonna say quickly is when you make line drawing, which is gonna be like for my for me to go through a stencil machine, try not to cheat, try not to make easy version. There's gonna be a map for you when you're gonna do it. So make sure when you do a stencil, you do it nice and clean as well. So when you tattoo, you don't physically have to think about anything. You can just follow and it's clean. Some people wobble dead quick, dead fast like that. And then on a day, they will try to figure out, try to be persistent with like one and the same gap between the lines. And then it, it doesn't look consistent and then it looks wrong and horrible. And it looks like a beginner started and Try not to cheat with yourself. Make sure your map for tomorrow, for the day after, for whatever day you do, make sure your map is bang on to you. You can follow it. You can. You don't have to make any decisions. You don't have to look or left or right to make make sure you follow, because you have all already on you, unless you go for that. Unless you literally make and you purposely wanna. Just freehand on a day, or freehand on a spot. Cool. That's that's fine. That's fine. But you want if you want to like, just stencil and do it as it is. Make sure you do it perfect because less you need to think, more you can focus. There's less stress, less moaning, less uh, sweating. You you're not gonna be dripping from your ears. 
it, it'll be way easier for you if you just create nice line work and off you go. So this going on the leg, maybe, perhaps, I'm gonna film all this if I'm gonna have time and the will, but I can't give you any promises. So for now, let's line this badass boy. And actually, before we do that, I need to pick a radio to listen. Because I'm one of those people, I don't want to pay for subscriptions to listen music. So you're going to pick a radio in the background while I do. We're going to listen to world news. I don't know what to pick. I've never seen these before. Have you? I can't recognize even one of them. Kiss FM? Maybe let's listen Kiss FM. What I'm planning to do is, I reckon I'm gonna squeeze my logo in here. Because, one, why not? Second, I don't think she has my logo yet. So I reckon I'll be cheeky and squeeze in. We'll see what she says. If she doesn't want to, I can, I can leave you out. But I'm pretty sure she'll be fine with it. Just like a little one there. A little creepy one there. I think it's you, sir. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, that in it follows like that line there nicely. Ish. That's his better in it. Yeah. We'll see what she says. If she's not, she's not, but I'm pretty sure she'll go for it. So I'm going to have another piece with my logo in it. I haven't done that like that recently since I've been doing more like or ornamental style and more uh, mandala and, and that kind of world. I haven't really got the chance to do it, so I have to use the opportunity. I'm probably gonna clean that up, you know. I'm gonna get that off and get my real logo in. I have saved literally a separate thingy. So we copy the, go back in gallery, pick a design, go there, press the key, and then paste, and it'll, it'll copy in. That, that. I think that suits there, isn't it? Well, you don't think so, no? I, I was thinking like in the forehead, but I have the flower there. It's, she's in the way. So that, that, oh man. Yeah, if the flower wouldn't be there, I would probably put on the forehead, bang in the middle. But as the flower's there, and I kind of don't want to ruin the flower, I think it, it just sits there as it's meant to be. My logo is the one, or second, I mean, the first is like the flower and and the butterfly. The butterfly looks massive, isn't it? I, I think I need to downsize that. It looks way too big for all this, isn't it? Or is it just me? I think it does need to go a bit smaller. If we select the working area, we work. And then we decrease. Yeah, that looks better, isn't it? It, it looks more realistic to the size. But I still want to go over that area there, just so it's poking out. Yeah, I think that, that will do. Oh man, I think it's now it's two thin lines. The stencil machine is not gonna see that, so I'm probably gonna need to reline that. But that's fine. So yeah, I just wanna say like, I'm gonna squeeze my logo in. Just for the why not? And now let's carry on lining, innit?
Now we go add, add text. Death, that's what we need. We select all, we pick fonts, and let's see if we have anything deadly, which I'm pretty sure we don't. Because I've never really needed that kind of font. Fonts I download on a website called That Font, D A Font. And uh, you can literally click, download, save to your files, and then export or import into Procreate. I reckon I will offer her this one. I don't know, we'll see what she says, but. It, it looks like a signature to me. Maybe, see if you do this, you go there, you put on multiply, and you do rasterize, it turns into a photo. Then it's multiply, so you can see the layer underneath. And then if you duplicate that, and then duplicate that, it thickens up. So you get the same font, but if it doesn't have bold, you can create a bold. I don't know if you do, did see any much difference. Let's try again. It's a multiply. Kind of. Did you see that? A little bit. But might help me to run through a stencil machine tomorrow. Because you're only going to be like this size, probably my hand size max. So that will become dead small. We'll see what she says tomorrow. What do we do need to do now? I think I forgot to do these. Well, I didn't forget, I just didn't do them. I need to do these little skirts for them. Then I'm gonna do little spotty circles on the mushrooms, which kind of explains more that they're evil and not eatable, unless you wanna get some high and low, if you know what I mean. And then, yeah, that's pretty much will be it. Maybe I'm gonna run into like cleaning up a few lines here and there, which I kind of just quickly run through, not thinking too much about it, just so I can line it all and I can see overall how it looks and and what's the end result in a sense. Yeah, if we delete the sketchy one out, and then we don't need that guy. These are only the lines, except the writing. Yeah, that's it. That's it now. So I'm gonna do them quickly, get a little skirt in. Um I already deleted the math for myself, anyways. And then I'm gonna clean up a few lines here and there, make sure that that's cool. What we're gonna do in this area is I don't know if I can show you that. So we're gonna black them out certain areas. Yeah, can't see. Maybe here. No. Anyway, so we're going to do negative. So this will be blacks, blacks and white roots. That's why I kind of made them a little bit thicker. And then tomorrow when I'm going to tattoo, I will follow the outer side. which is going to make them a little bit more thicker. So when it heals and everything thickens up, you're still going to see quite, quite nice the roots. And that should be it. I'm one of those people where I don't follow my own stencil. Here you can see what I'll be using, a soft box to make lighter, everything. So I'm one of those people, I don't really follow my own line box. So this is going to be here, I'm going to follow it. But on certain spots, I'll be like, you know what, let's make it this way, let's make it that way, let's make it that way. So even if I have a stencil, I don't really follow exactly as it is because I created and I can I can change if changes are needed. And I'm an, I, I yeah. I, I don't follow myself, so I'm not really like fussed how it really looks now because tomorrow it's going to look different. I'm going to make sure it looks bang on, but if it does look different, that's cool. So it's still a reference to me in a sense. It's one of those styles where I can physically do that. And by the way, Kiss FM has really good tunes now. Um, I'm enjoying it. I could show you some, but I'll be banned from a copyright claim or something like that. They always chase me, so... I can't show you, so it's a good song, it's good songs. If you, no, you're not going to turn on now because I'm filming now and 
It only plays now while I'm filming. But anyways, a future reference, worldwide radio.com and there's Kiss FM. It's not paid advertisement. It's a good good songs. So I wanted to quickly say what I just did. So every time, let's say I finish that design and then I have these like random thoughts. What if I do that? What if I do that? What if one goes in here? So what I do is, especially like these ones here are quite cool. They, they sit there nicely, like they, they fine. But that one here could obstruct or block some lines or whatever. So what I always do is, if you can see here, if I press on the layers, if, and I desaturated, you can't really see it, maybe you can see the difference now. See, I desaturate that and I draw that this little shine on a, another layer. So if, in case, if I mess it up or I draw it wrong way or whatever happens for any reason, I can wipe that off, draw another one, wipe that off, draw another one. And if I like the way it looks, then I keep it and whatever line is underneath what i need to get rid of it i can get rid of it let's say that little line there it, it you kind of can't see but it will bother me like it will annoy me then and now i know the line's not there it's cool and don't worry about these little flicks tomorrow with the liner i'm just gonna nice make a nice clean line so that's not an issue it's just the way i create my own stencils for myself oh so what i was gonna say is when you want to experiment and see what would it be like best is to create new layer and i always desaturate the one before let's say if you put that back on now at this moment you don't know on which one you draw because they both look equally and they look exactly the same so do you know which one i'm drawing now i draw where the main lines are and imagine if you design something really big really massive and then you realize you're on the wrong layer. Now at this point, it still allows me to go back and fix stuff. But imagine if you accidentally do this and you go out. All your backs, double clicks, two fingers, gone. They don't exist anymore. So that's the curse of the iPad. Once you close, there's no more memory. There's no more, see here, you can go back. There's no more. Nothing happens. So the best is to play on a different layer. Let's say I put back that on, I press on this, I put merge down, or you can do, apparently you can squeeze those two together and it creates a new, uh, basically they merge together. And that's that. So always play before you actually do something. And even for the stencils, I always desaturate the one underneath so i know when i make a line let's say this is desaturated and i can create a new layer and in my head i'm going to draw in that new layer but for some reason i could be accidentally on here and now i see oh it's too light and black it's supposed to be in this color so i know i'm in the wrong layer so these are my little tips and tricks have saved me life have saved me a lot of things so what I was going to say is, this is pretty much done. I'm probably going to leave here. We'll see what she says tomorrow. If I need to make additional changes tomorrow, I will. But that's probably as far as it goes for me now. And this is kind of the effort and time I put into every single stencil I do for everybody and daily basis. In the mornings, I draw the stuff I wanna. Let me quickly show you actually what I've done so far if we go here so this is gonna be the upcoming one i took a body i dropped the design on it uh, so that's gonna be published soon and these are the four people i designed so what i did is see this is the design what was on that girl i just showed you so i've saved that 
uh, those mandalas as separate designs. That is saved as a separate design. That is saved as a separate design. All this is saved as a separate design. That is, these ones aren't because I just drew them on her. So sadly enough, that isn't and this isn't either. But the ones I have saved separately, what I'm gonna do is literally what I just did. So I posted this as an image, whereas friends, they're also two different styles, which is, I don't even know what the style this is, like realism slash neo trad slash who knows. This is called Neo Japanese because it's a new version of Japanese or Japanese done in a cooler way in new done, yeah. That would be like black work, black work flowers, uh, ornamental mandala, mandalas and ornamental mixed with all sorts of cool stuff. So I've done that and then what that allows me is I designed it, the, this was on the leg, I designed that on a separate piece, that is a separate piece. So these designs which I did on the separate uh, layers, which is here, I'm gonna pick them and I'm gonna put them on different people so I have a post to post again in the future uh, up for people. I don't know if you saw this or not, but that's else what I did on a person. So I'm gonna be pushing more this kind of work. I don't know if that interests you, put down a comment because sometimes I don't know if my client base or the viewers on YouTube would enjoy stuff like this or you wouldn't. I'm not sure and I haven't really like tested that out. So you better say to me if you like it or not, if you want to see more or you don't want to see more because I can't read your minds. That one, I don't know if you've seen that or haven't. I don't think I posted this image. But yeah, everybody was like stoked about this one. I don't think I'll post that yet. I've designed that. So you can kind of see what I, where I've been for all this time. So again, if you want to see me designing this, make sure you drop a comment and say, yes, I do wanna. So I know that you do wanna. Uh, I think I did show this in my previous video. If not, you can see again. I, I picked a person from Instagram and I literally just drew designs on it. So this is kind of like the, the me now pushing this kind of work towards, which is mixing all sorts of styles into one. That's really nice from black work. I, I just love those black lines. They just look like water, and but I don't know, they're cool. Uh, this is more like a neo Japanese and I've spent hours and hours like just to sketch this, it was like crazy. So what I do is I literally design the whole thing. I save the design. Then for the underclothing, I literally just desaturate them. So it's the same kind of thing, but I desaturate it and it gives you that illusion that you see through, but you don't. It's just desaturated layer. So two layers on one I deleted all the body and left only what's on closing the second one layer I left everything except the closing I deleted so they are two different layers and then it, it gives me the option to desaturate and saturate fully one or the other that was the same leg but in red color because uh, I thought I'm gonna see if I post red one and black one if that makes any difference but it didn't really do anything uh, this one, I don't know if you have seen, I can't remember what I was showing in my last video, but I made this and I printed out 100 prints. So if you want one, you can drop a comment, I can send you one. I literally have a box there, there, about there. So all of them are there. And it's also, I would say, neo Japanese style. So I'm learning massive pieces now, massive. And then I've done some chess pieces. This one's booked in already. And this one's booked in already. It's This one actually goes the same woman. I just did that leg piece. So leg piece. And I guess after the leg one, they're gonna go on the chest. So we're gonna do this on her. What else I have here? I designed this, this is booked in as well. We are, we're only gonna change this little bit different, the middle, that's fine. And 
I've, I've started a lot. I've started this and started that. And there's so much things going on in my mind. Like, it's hard to, like, cope. And then what I do is, when people ask me, uh, is this available or not? I mention them that I can put them uh, designs onto them. Meaning, it's one of those, like, test drive. You know, when you, like, go to buy a car and you do a test drive, this is like a test drive where they can almost see how it would be on them when it's, it would be on them. So sometimes it's hard to imagine as a person like how it would be on me or how it wouldn't be. So I tell them, send me a photo of you, of you standing or whatever position, as long as you're kind of straight. And then I, I put my designs on them. I send to them and I'm like, this is how it would look. And 90% of the people, they want it because they saw how it would look on them. And once they have seen, they can't unsee. But yeah, this is as far as it goes on this one. And if you have any like questions, how to use Procreate, how to make more like in-depth video, I can do that if you are interested, guys. But this is the design for me. And we're going to leave it here. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. If not, that's all right, you at least enjoyed some time, I saw some drawing and, and saw some new designs. But my diary just fills up more and more and more, which means I have less and less and less time to make videos. I barely squeeze this in today because I really wanted to do one. But 90% of the times it's really, really hard for me to find any minutes. So I'm really hoping I have this thing where I haven't really told you any of you guys, but there is this upcoming project I'm into which would allow me to make videos pretty much daily. And yeah, it, it's it's a big one. So if you guessed it, that's all right. Or put your guess in the comments. I wanna see like what, what you think. So it's gonna be a big project, a massive project, a lot of people involved. And that will allow me to have every second day off and perhaps make videos every single day about what's happening what's going on what am i doing and stuff like that so thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for little for your support and i appreciate every single comment you dropped there so i'll see you in the next video guys take care